Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. We have best bets for Major League Baseball on Wednesday, July 6, 2022. We're going to have MLB player props, run lines, over-unders, money lines here for you today. We're going to have three picks that I think are great value bets for this Wednesday Major League Baseball slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are partnered with Prize Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for a 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Prize Picks. You can also use one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and description. It really is a great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. You can put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money, and it's a lot of fun to use. Highly encourage you to check that out. Like I said, use our code SFP for that 100% deposit match or one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and the description. Be sure to check out our community Discord page as well. It's a great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll also have a link in the comment section in the description for that. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now it's time for a shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, guys, you see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we have an added perk for our Straight Fire MVPs. You get access to our picks and our notes uh, the night before. So uh, those of you that are watching the video that are MVPs, you'll see I had the notes and the picks out the night before. Uh, typically, that will always be the case. Um, whenever I'm done with the notes, I'm going to post them in our members tab on YouTube. So that's a new perk for you guys. Uh, so hopefully you get some value out of that. You also get a badge next to your name, some custom emojis, roll color in the Discord, and shout outs in the videos. So appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you for signing up for that. To all of you that have signed up for it, appreciate all the support that you guys have given here at the channel. If you're interested in signing up, there's a join button down below. There'll also be a link in the comment section and in the description for that. Appreciate you all. Okay, now results from the previous episode. So this is from July 4th. We didn't have a video yesterday. Uh, but we did go 2-1. and one. Pretty solid overall. We cashed the Pete Alonzo over one and a half bases. He clutches up in the top of the ninth inning with a double. We love to see it. And we cashed the Orioles and the Rangers nerfy. That one was pretty easy overall. Uh, love that. Got some great value on that. Unfortunately, we missed on the Blue Jays minus one and a half run line. I think Manoa might have pitched one of his worst starts of the season. So not a lot we can do about that. We're going to get back after today, guys. We're going to get this 3-0. So let's get right into our picks here. And number one, we are going with Jose Altuve. Over one and a half bases here for the Houston Astros at minus 105 odds. Guys, Jose Altuve has been a home monster this year. He's batting 347 at home, slugging 620 at home. So he's been absolutely terrific at home. So far here in the month of July, he's also been very good. He's 9 out of 21 at the plate with two doubles and one home run. Which we obviously love to see that. He's taking on a pitcher here for the Royals who's, you know, Brad Keller, 3-9 and nine, with a 4.24 ERA, a 261 batting average allowed, and a 1.33 whip. Altuve, 1 out of 1 in his career off of Keller with two walks. He's gotten on base actually all three times. Unfortunately, the walks wouldn't count, but... Kind of gives you an idea there for Keller. Um, I think Altuve could definitely get a hit off of him, get a double, uh, possibly a home run off of Keller. This Royals team, you know, overall is not a great pitching team. Some of their starters could be decent, uh, but their bullpen is also pretty bad as well. Their bullpen is has the second worst bullpen ERA. So, you know, I think Altuve has already gotten a hit in each of the first two games. Unfortunately, didn't cash the bases line, but, like, I think we could, I actually kind of like seeing that because I think he'll definitely cash um, in this one. I think we're getting very solid odds on it. And it's like, I just love Button, you know, Hel Jose Altuve at home. I think he'll have a great chance to cash. Keller's allowing a 274 batting average to right handed hitters as well. Altuve hitting 268 off of righties. It's not as good as he hits off of lefties, but overall, still pretty solid. Uh, like I said, I like Altuve's power there at the top of the lineup. You know, you're going to get a lot of at bats out of Altuve out of that leadoff spot. Um, and like I said, with him batting at home, I love I love Altuve when he's at home. So we'll rock it there for our number one pick. We're going Jose Altuve over one and a half bases here for the Houston Astros at minus 105 odds. Okay, and at number two, we're going with the Washington Nationals, Philadelphia Phillies, Nerfy bet here. No one first inning at minus 106 odds here on FanDuel. Guys, we got the Phillies here coming in 22nd in first inning runs, 18th at home in first inning runs. 
Nationals are actually really good in the first inning. They're actually fourth in first inning runs, first in first inning runs on the road. So why do I want to attack that? Well, as I always say, uh, for me, a lot of times it's about the pitchers, and in this case, it's about the pitchers, guys. Uh, we got Josiah Gray going to the mound for the Nationals. 6-5, 4.22 ERA, 1.27 whip uh, so far this season. Solid, but on the road, he's been lights out. He's 4-0 with a 2.01 ERA, 0.97 whip, and allowing just a 177 batting average on the road. He's been absolutely terrific here on the road. He's also 4 out of his last 4 here to the Nerfie, which I do like to see that. Uh, he's really picked it up as the season's gone on, right? He's kind of been a hot pitcher of late. Uh, which I do like to see that. I think uh, I think Gray really does have good stuff. I think he'll have a good chance here, especially without Bryce Harper now in the lineup. You know, a lot less to worry about there at the Phillies. The only real guy you got to worry about is Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber one for five in his career off of Gray. Um, the other guy would be probably Castellanos. Castellanos zero for three off of Gray. So you know, combined that's one for eight. So I can live with those statistics. I think Gray will have a great chance to get through that top of the order. On the other side, we've bet Aaron Noah on the Nerfie before. He's been an absolute Nerfie machine. Aaron Noah, nine out of his last nine to the Nerfie. He's five and five this season with a 3.13 ERA, rocking a .92 whip. Um, he's also four and one with a 2.28 ERA over his last seven games. So he's been terrific this year, guys. And the splits off of Noah. You know, for this Nationals headers that we'll likely see here. Josh Bell, 3 out of 16 off of NOLA. Uh, Lane Thomas, 2 out of 3. That's obviously pretty good. And Cesar Hernandez, 0 for 4 off of NOLA. So, overall, guys, I do like the splits there. Um, you know, as far as versus uh, NOLA, I think NOLA will be able to get it done. Nationals bats, overall, as a whole, don't scare me too much. You know, no Juan Soto in the lineup. Uh, obviously, with him gone, that definitely helps us out. The only guy I'm really scared of would be Josh Bell. Like I said, he's just 3 for 16 off of Nola. So I think we can get the outs that we need there as well. Uh, that's why you kind of got to look at the injury report, too. Nelson Cruz also hurt as well. So uh, that definitely hurts you know, the top run production there for the Nationals. Um, and I think, you know, I think we'll have a great chance, like I said, to cash. This is the 20th pitcher-friendly park. This game will be, you know, in the evening time, which is definitely better for us, I believe. Uh, I'd be more worried about the ball carrying during the daytime with the hot sun. Uh, but this is the 20th pitcher-friendly park, which is okay. It's not great. But overall, guys, I love these two pitchers. We'll rock it there for our number two pick. We're going to Washington Nationals, Philadelphia Phillies, Norfie bet here. No one first inning at minus 106 odds. Okay, and finally at number three, we are rolling with the Minnesota Twins money line here versus the Chicago White Sox at minus 102 odds here on FanDuel. Guys, I will gladly take the Twins here as an underdog with underdog odds. They've actually won the last seven here versus the Chicago White Sox. And I like the pitcher that they have on the mound. Joe Ryan going to the mound for the Twins today. He's 6-3 and three with a 3.00 ERA, 1.05 whip. 3-1 with a 2.67 ERA and a 1.04 whip on the road. So he's been absolutely terrific this season, especially on the road. He's also 4-1 with a 2.33 ERA, 1.00 whip in day games as well. Uh, so we love to see that. On the other side, I'm not ready to trust Lance Lynn yet, right? Lance Lynn, definitely, you know, great pitcher last year, great stats. Had a great start his last start, uh, but got off to a really rocky start in his first three starts there. Uh, so far on the season, he's 1-1 with a 4.50 ERA, 6.17 ERA at home, and a 6.75 ERA in day games. Um, I said one could argue that Lynn shaked off the rust, you know, in his last start versus the Giants. He looked very good, just allowed the three hits. Uh, but I'm here to challenge that. Um, he's rocking so far this season the highest hard hit percentage of his career at 47.8%. So... The thing is, guys, with Lance Lynn, he's starting to get older, right? 35 years old. He's not a young guy anymore. He's starting to lose a little zip, you know, on his stuff. Uh, he still could be very effective, obviously. I'm not saying Lance Lynn won't be or won't get back to being, you know, a pitcher that's got around a 3 ERA and stuff like that. But right now, I'm very comfortable, rock, you know, rocking it here against him. Uh, I'm willing to test him here. I don't think he's quite all the way back, even though he did just allow the three hits against the Giants. Sometimes I watch the Giants offensively. I'm like, eh, none of their hitters really get me up in the morning. You know, so 
Take out a Twins team where you got one of the best hitters in baseball. You got one of the better power hitters in baseball, Byron Buxton. Luis Arias, obviously one of the better hitters. Uh, no lineup really has picked it up lately. I think he'll have a little bit more trouble. Twins are hitting 252 off of righties, which is pretty solid overall. And Twins really statistically down the line win the battle, right? They're 15th in bullpen ERA. White Sox are 21st in bullpen ERA. Twins 13th in runs. White Sox 20th in runs. And here... You know, if the Twins pitcher was a left-hander, I'd be more nervous. But, you know, White Sox bat 246 off of righties, which Joe Ryan is. They bat 287 off of lefties. So that's really what you want to bet the White Sox is when they're taking on a left-handed pitcher, and that's not happening here today. Like I said, Twins have won the last seven here. And the White Sox have not been, been a good home team this year. They're 16-23 and 23 at home. That's pretty bad, actually. It's really bad. So uh, do love it there, guys. I love all the stats that we're rocking with today. We're going to bet against Lance Lynn. We'll love it there for our number three pick. We're going Minnesota Twins money line here versus the Chicago White Sox at minus 102 odds. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. I just want to tell you all that I appreciate all of you here at the channel. Your guys' support has been awesome. Thank you to all our new members. I forgot to give a shout out to our newest member, Luke McDonald. Appreciate you for signing up. Um, meant to give you that shout out. So I uh, appreciate that. I hope you guys get some good value there out of the new perk, uh, having the plays released ahead of time. You can usually get some better odds, uh, usually the day before the books have not sharpened up quite. So it can be a good time to take advantage of that. I think the Twins money line is, that. I think that will move. I really do. I think uh, before game time, I think you'll see that closer to minus 120. They really should be favorites, in my opinion. But we'll see what happens. Uh, but like I said, appreciate all the support. Hope you guys had a happy and safe 4th of July. Other than that, it's going to do it for me. Check out all of our links, guys. Check out our social media link, our Twitter page, our Discord, our Price Picks link. Uh, if you guys are interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, join button down below for that. And also, you can also buy some cool merchandise at our website, straightfirepicks.com. Okay, other than that, it's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you all next time. Peace out.